Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nelly. If this is your first time seeing this space, you're absolutely welcome to this space. So you got to hear everything real. So I live in the countryside of Japan. And every 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m., there's always the bell that goes on like you heard. So in today's video, I'll be giving you a situational report about COVID in Japan. So before I continue with today's video, I would like to give a shout out to a small business owner based in Japan. If you remember quite correctly, I mentioned in a couple of videos before this that I was going to be giving shout outs to small business owners around the world. So this is not paid. It's my own little way of supporting small business owners. So today's shout out goes to Chelsea dot underscore dot 38. She makes handmade accessories. She makes hair pieces. She makes earrings. She makes necklaces. She makes even flower arrangements that you can put on your wall. She's based in Japan. Her pieces are very beautiful and her prices are so affordable. So if you want earrings, necklaces, and hair pieces, she's definitely your plug. So check her out on Instagram. One more time, she's chelsea.underscore.38. If you want to hear what the COVID situation is like in Japan, then keep watching. So the very first thing is a state of emergency has been declared in Japan. So the state of emergency is effective in 11 prefectures. You have Tokyo, Saitama, Chiba, Kanagawa. And then you also have Yogo, Osaka, Kyoto, Aichi, Gifu, Tochigi, and Fukuoka. So this time, the state of emergency has urged dining establishments to close early. Movie theaters, concert venues, department stores, amusement parks have also been urged to close early. For now, the entry of non-resident foreign nationals into Japan has been suspended. So previously, business travelers and students from Brunei, Cambodia, China, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Thailand, Singapore, South Korea, Vietnam, and Taiwan were allowed into Japan. But for now, that special treatment has been halted until the 7th of February. Residents coming to Japan are expected to have their test, which was taken 72 hours prior to their departure flight. And then at the airport, a saliva test will be conducted. So the people who have traveled have said the time it took for them to deplane to the time it took for them to leave the airport was about two hours, to two hours, 30 minutes. So it's recommended that if you're traveling with kids, then you should have some snacks along with you. Arrivals into Japan are expected to sign a pledge. So this pledge requires that you download line you download a contact confirming app you quarantine for 14 days and you avoid taking public transportation japanese nationals who violate this pledge will have their names publicized and foreign nationals who violate this pledge may lose their status of residence in Japan and may also be deported. So this strict rule is coming as a result of the fact that a British citizen came to Japan, violated the 14 days quarantine rule, went for dinner and ended up spreading the new strain of the virus. So that's why the government is very strict now on anyone who violates the policy. Arrivals from South Africa and the United Kingdom will quarantine at a designated hotel. So they'll quarantine at the hotel for three days. After the three days, they will take the test again. And if the test confirms they are negative, then they will be allowed to go to the specified location they indicated in the pledge form to quarantine for 11 days. Meanwhile, regular arrivals will be allowed to go to their quarantine destination of choice after leaving the airport but without taking the public transportation most people who have gone through the three days quarantine at the hotel have recommended that you come with your own snacks because although in the hotel you'll be served three meals and you are also allowed to buy snacks from the internet 
but then it's going to be less stressful if you have your own snacks probably even things that can be made with hot water regular travelers do not have to quarantine at a designated location except they refuse to sign the pledge form So yeah, this is all I have for you today. I just thought that I should put this information out there just in case someone is going to be traveling out of Japan soon and is planning to return. Or maybe you're someone who is already outside of Japan and you're planning to return and you don't know what the situation is like in here. Or perhaps maybe you're someone who is not traveling anytime soon, but you just want to know how things are in here. So I just thought I should put this information out there. So thank you so much for staying tuned with me. See you in the next video. Goodbye.